Hi friends, I'm going to cover PowerShell and PowerShell commands in this session and in subsequent sessions as well. Without further delay, let us get into our today's topic. So what is PowerShell? PowerShell is an object-oriented automation engine and scripting language with an interactive command line shell. So it is very similar to other shell scripting type of languages, but PowerShell has its own unique usages. We'll look into that in the next subsequent slides. However, PowerShell is a task automation and configuration management program from Microsoft and it is built on top of the .NET framework. It is open source and cross-platform which works both on Windows and Mac as well. It is also used to automate system tasks such as batch processing and to create system management tools for commonly implemented processes. So let us see a few usages of the PowerShell. However, we are going to mainly focus on the Azure PowerShell, like how do we implement the commands on the Azure. Though we are seeing different purposes, I'm not going to cover the server management or maybe the batch processing or the configurations. Nothing is going to be covered except the Azure related commands. So if you see PowerShell in a broader range, it can be used to stop your servers, kill your processes on your server or stop your servers. All those things can be used by using your PowerShell. Assume that somebody uh, raised the issue on the server and it need to be restarted. So you can use your PowerShell scripting to start, stop, restart all those activities you can perform on the server management side. Not just that, you can also do the configurations or you can also check what are the services currently running on the particular PC and remotely from the admin center. This is another way of usage of the PowerShell. It doesn't stop there. We can use PowerShell in plenty of the platforms as you see on the screen on the Azure, Windows, Exchange, even on the SQL, on the third party, AWS, VMware, Google Cloud as well. I never used on the AWS, VMware and Google Cloud but you can give it a try if you are interested on that. So moving on, what are the tools we can use for the PowerShell? So there are plenty of tools available, uh, but I personally recommend either use to PowerShell IAC or Visual Studio Code. Even you can use your command uh, window of the PowerShell. I will use the terminal window on the Azure portal for this session, but eventually I will show you how to configure the PowerShell IAC uh, or Visual Studio Code. Coming to our main topic, uh, Azure PowerShell, it is actually designed for managing and administering Azure resources from the command line. If you want to create, delete, or edit any type of resources, or you know you want to enhance some kind of features on the particular resource, all these things can be designed or managed from your command shell itself. One way of doing is like you can manually go to the portal step by step on the GUI. You can click on step by step, next, 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 all, you know, select the configurations. All those stuff, it can be done manually. But that is not the user friendly job or, you know, administrator, administrator friendly job or DevOps friendly job. They can't do everything manually. Assume that you are going to create 100 different instances of the VM. And if you are going to do it manually, it may take uh, five, six hours. And there are plenty of chances that you make a error in that. If you make an error, another five, 10 hours to figure it out where the mistake has gone and how to fix that particular issue. Or you will erase uh, all the instances and you will come back, right? But if it is an automation job, like running through the commands, uh, there are very less chances that uh, the error may occur because you first write the script and test it, then you will executed for uh, all the 100 instances implementation, right? So that is the reason it is always to go with the scripting and it is once you understand it is just a minute's job to write the script and execute them as well. Let me start with the simple commands and then we can move back again to the Visual Studio Code, PowerShell IAC and why and what type of commands we use. So to execute the sample commands, I logged into the portal.azure.com in case if you don't have account yet please create trial and you will get the balance uh, you can see i created a fresh account on the portal.azure as part of the trial account i got 14500 uh, rupees if it is in usd you will get 200 dollars credit 
which can be used per month. So there are plenty of other services free, like 40 plus services free forever. And uh, as part of this uh, credit, you will you can use almost many resources which are available on the cloud. So to execute the commands on the PowerShell, just simply go to the cloud shell on the top. You can see here, click on that. Here you will get two options, PowerShell and Bash. I'm going to select PowerShell. I'm going to use a free trial. I have only one subscription. If you have multiple subscription, you can select the relevant one. Create storage. As this is the first time, it is asking which subscription and uh, which storage you want to uh, create on. Uh, if it is already created account and you already have a subscriptions and all the stuff, it won't ask all these details. It will directly uh, authorize, authenticate and sh show you the PowerShell command from there. So after a few minutes, it started uh, authenticating to Azure, building your Azure drive, all those stuff. And now it is on the command prompt. Let me just pull to up. So now you can start writing your commands. I'm going to create a resource group here. So for creating the resource group, you have to just type new easy resource group. It's very easy to understand as it goes with what you're creating. Azure resource group you're creating, which is a new one. So that is what I'm writing here. And the name of the resource group so my first resource group is the name of that in which location you want to create that resource group just hyphen location so each parameter will have the hyphen and then that parameter name so simple east us and just enter So you can see here it is already created just within few seconds. If you want to check that, go to the home screen here, check under the all resources, sorry, uh, check under the resource groups. You can see my resource group is created. Now let us remove the same resource what we created. Uh, if you are closing your cloud shell, they that need to be authenticated again. So if it is not closed yet, you can continue using it without any authentication here. Anyway, it is automation process. You don't need to really worry. So we, while creating, we used a new AZ resource group. Whereas while you are removing it, you have to use remove AZ resource group space. Just give the name. While you're creating, you have given location as well. Here it is not required. Just simply mention the name of the resource group you have created. My first resource. group just enter looks like there is a typo uh, make sure that you are not making any typos here because it doesn't recognize the command uh, i see there is a typo in the az resource group let me just copy and paste the command or -E -S -O -U -R -E -S -E yeah. so it's a small mistake but yeah while you are making the practice definitely you will get rid of all these uh, typos and mistakes so it is asking whether you want to create uh, re remove it. Just simply type S and it will automatically remove. It will take uh, a minute or couple. Uh, after that, you can uh, try to refresh here. Then you can see that my first resource group is disappeared. So this is how you can um, create and remove the resource groups. But in my next sessions, we will see more commands like how to create storage, VMs and all the other resources available with PowerShell. Thanks for watching my videos.